Hello, this is logarithm lesson 3.1. In this, I will continue with questions with variable. These questions are a bit different type. That's why I, I, so I thought that it should be better to discuss with you. Now, these questions are again based on the same concept. So you should first pause the video, try to solve yourself, then look at the way I have solved. Now, this is the first question. Log 24 base 10 is x. Some y and z is given. You need to find the value of log 72 to the base 10. Now, 72 can be expressed in many ways in the form of 24, 25 and 120. So better to solve this question with the help of option as if you will add first option I try x plus y plus z what you will get you will get log of this log 24 plus log 25 plus log 120 you know that log a plus log log a plus log b plus log c is how much log a into b into c. So if you add x plus y plus z, you will get log of 24 into 25 into 120. Again, the base would be 10. Will this form log 72? Our answer option choice should make log 72. So this is not our answer. This option is not our answer because this will be much more than the 72. Second option I'm trying x plus y plus z minus 3. So this will become log of now 24 into 25 is 600 into 120 minus 3. Can I say this becomes log of 10, 72, 30, 72,000 minus 3. Will this be equal to log 72? Now very important here to understand that you can write 3 as you need to convert 3 in the form of log. 7200 3 can be written as log of 10 cube the base is 10 because here the base is 10 so this log 10 cube to the base 10 will also give me 3 why so you can open this 3 will come forward this become 3 log 10 to the base 10 this is equals to 3 so very important I can write 3 as log 10 cube upon to the base 10 will it give me this is 72,000 log 10 this is 1000 now what is log a minus log b you know that log a minus log b is we know that log a minus log b is equal to log a by b so same way you can write like this will become log base will be 10 72,000 by 1000 that is log 10 base 72 and that will be my answer so in this way you can check the the options and find the answer in least possible time you don't need to write that much in exam only thing important in this question was that you can write 3 as log of 10 cube to the base 10 as it will give you 3 so answer choice is second option otherwise if you solve, try to solve with the help of concept it will take a lot of time because there are many ways to write log 72 as a combination of 24 log 24 log 25 and log 120 Question 2 is log x to the base y is 6 given to you. Log 8x to the base 2y is 5. Now can I go with option for this question? No. Because options I can only be able to put the value of x. Because options are given the value of x. What about the value of y? Again one variable will be left and will, will be quite complicated. Even you can't put go by the assumption. You can't assume the things such that both equation will be true. It's very difficult. So better to solve go by the concepts. Can I say this week was to log x? upon log y this equation will be equals to 6 cross multiply you get log x is equals to 6 log y this becomes log y power 6 because 6 will come power so can I say now this is equals to this log a is equals to log b so a will be equals to b x is equals to y power 6 as the base is same nothing is given so you can always assume that the base was 10 so x is equals to y power 6 the first equation I got Solving the second part, second part was this log of 8x to the base 2y is equals to 5. So this what do you, how we open this become log of 8x upon log of 2y this is equals to 5. Cross multiply you will get log of 8x 5 log 2y. So this is equals to log of 8x. This 5 will become the power this becomes log of 2y whole raised to the power 5 so this means that this becomes log 
32y power 5. This is the number 32. 2 power 5 is 32. Now log a is equals to log b. Base is same. You can assume that base is 10. 8x will be equals to. Can I see that? 8x is equals to 32y power 5. Now put the value of x. So x will be equal to how much here? 4y power 5 after putting the value of x from here x is y power 6 y power 6 is 4y power 5 can I say y equals to 4 so y equals to 4 will be my final answer that is option number 2 there is no shortcut for this question so this proves that there are there will be questions in exam that you can't solve with the help of options or any kind of shortcut or logic you have to solve by the concept question 3 is given to you this is the statement this left hand side equals to right hand side you need to find the value of y again no need to go by the options we can simply go by the concept now you should try to solve yourself because this you should take this kind of question as you practice you are practicing the questions online with me so can i say log a plus log b will be equal to log a into b this will be multiplied 10 power y plus 2 into 10 power y minus 8 this will be get multiplied this 2 will form the power this will be equal to log 10 y minus 4 whole square now how to proceed further now you can see that left hand side equals to right hand side base is same log a is equals to log b with the same base you can say that 10 power y plus 2 into 10 power y minus 8 will be equal to 10 power y minus 4 whole square now most important thing here to how to solve it from here don't treat in terms of 10 raised to power y you can assume that 10 raised to power y as x assume that 10 power y as x so this becomes x plus 2 into x minus 8 is equals to x minus 4 whole square that was the most crucial step in this question so here i have used concept plus assumptions now once you will solve like this this becomes x square minus 6x minus 16 it equals to x square plus 16 minus 8x So this x square and x square will get cancelled out you get 2x is equals to 32 so your x will be 16 you will get x as equals to 16 now your x was 10 raised to the power y is equals to 16 take log both side take log both sides you need to find the value of y so this will get log of 10 raised to the power y is equals to log of 16 this becomes y log 10 is equals to log 16 this equals to y will be equals to log 16 by log 10 16 you can write 2 power 4 log 10 is 1 so then you will get 4 log 2 as your final answer so y value would be 4 log 2 that is option number 4 will be your final answer question 4 is log a upon 4 log b upon 6 log c upon 12 which of the following is true now how to solve this question now i can solve this question in two ways first by assumptions assumption i will assume that i will making uh, question says that these three are equal so you only thing you need to do that you should make them equal then your question will be correct can i say that can i make them 1 1 and 1 i will make them this log a this i will make this this whole thing is as 1 i will make this as 1 i will make this also as 1 1 1 1 or 2 2 2 simplest is 1 1 1 base is not given you can assume that the base is 10 log a to the base 10 b to the base 10 c to the base 10 for log a to the base 10 by 4 should be 1 can i say this value of log a to the base 10 this should be how much this value can i say this value must be equals to 4 then i can say that 4 by 4 will be equals to 1 
how this will become 4 that is a very important task can i simply say that a should be equal to 10 power 4 because when a is 10 power 4 the 4 will come forward you will be left with log 10 by 10 this is 1 so i'm just solving in the here log a to the base 10 4 can i say that if a is 10 power 4 this 4 will come forward 4 log 10 by 10 upon 4 this 4 by 4 will be equals to 1 so a should be 10 raised to power 4 same way b should be how much b should be 10 power 6 b should be 10 power 6 a should be 10 power 4 same way c should be 10 power 12 you can see that if b is 10 power 6 6 by 6 will be 1 if c is 10 power 12 12 will come forward log 10 to base 10 would be 1 12 by 12 would be again 1 so in this way i can simply say that my a is 10 power 4 my b is 10 power 6 my c is 10 power 12 now you only need to check which of the following conditions they will satisfy which of the following option choices they will satisfy now first i am putting b square b square would be how much 10 power 12 this equals this will become 10 power 4 a will become 10 power 4 this is 10 power 12 so 10 power 16 is not equal to 10 power 12 this is not be my answer second option i will try 10 b cube b cube with 10 power 18 a square that would be 10 power 8 into c 10 power 12 are they equal right hand side would be 10 power 8 into 10 power 12 10 power 20 this will not be equal to 10 power 18 this is not equal so this is not my answer choice b power 4 is equal to a c cube b power 4 will be 10 power 24 a is how much 10 power 4 c cube is how much 10 power 36 that will right hand side is very large so this is also not my answer fourth option will become 10 power 12 c is also 10 power 12 so this is equal 10 power 12 into 10 power 12 is 10 power 24 this was 10 power 24 so fourth option is my final answer so you can see that with the help of making assumption that assumption according to the condition that all the values i can assume that one one and one you can assume two two and two but it will be difficult so better is assume one one and one you can solve this question in less than 40 seconds so simply i can know that a would be 10 power 4 b would be 10 power 6 c would be 10 power 12 within i can calculate this verbally only thing you just check the options that's how you need to solve the questions in exam this is a medium difficulty level question it's not an easy question the but still i can solve this question or you can also solve this question in exam in 40 seconds now i am solving this question with the help of concept how to solve this question with the help of concept now with the concept you should assume that this is equals to k rather than taking 1 1 1 as i have taken you can assume that is equals to k so this log a will become this log a will become 4k now how to find the value of a now i need to convert i will convert 4k in terms of log then only i will be able to calculate the value of a here as data we can't calculate the value of a so can i say base here is 10 i am assuming that base is 10 this 4k i can write as log of 10 power 4k to the base 10 because if you open this it will become 4k this you must know a very important concept even i discussed this concept in the last slide 4 a number number 4 you can write that log of 10 power 4 to the base 10 same thing so you must know how to write a norm natural number in the form of log now you can say that log a is equal to log b now number will be equal so from here i will get a is equal to 10 power 4k same way you will get b is equal to 10 power 6k and c is equal to 10 power 12k and again you have to go check option by option which of the following will be true then you will get your answer so this option b power 4 is equal to a cube c will give you the correct answer so in this way you can solve this question with the help of concept even here it won't take more than a minute to solve the question but your speed must be fast so that was all about 
logarithm lesson 3.1 questions with variable i hope you learned how to solve the questions in different ways you don't need to cram the ways you only need to understand the things in the next lessons i will continue with more on logarithms thank you